have a look at the next few questions. You remember I said pay close attention to this um, instruction in blue. Okay, in fact, it's the most important thing. Um, when we get to these answers, we're going to down, and then we'll get to the reason. What's the size of angle Y? Any takers? Any takers? Yeah, Adam. 325. 325. Okay, now, I'm going to write Y equals 325. But before that, I'm actually going to write an extra line. And maybe you didn't write this line. I'm going to ask you if you, if that was the first thing you wrote down, I'd like you to go just before that or next to it and write this extra line because it's kind of important. What I've got here is I've actually got two angles that I'm adding together. Um, what's Y called, like the kind of angle it's called? See how it goes all the way around? It starts with an R. Does anyone remember? Nikhil. Oh, very close. The whole thing is a revolution. Maria? It's a reflex angle, right? So it's okay. We're very close. I'm going to talk about revolutions. So that reflex angle and the acute angle, the sharp bit there, they come together to make a revolution, right? So because they come together, I want to indicate that in my working. So I'm going to write before this line, I'm going to write y plus 35 equals 360. And that's where the next line comes from. Like you take away 35 from both sides and it stays balanced, okay? Now, there's a reason that comes with this, and we're going to put this in brackets next to where we put our, um, our first line here. What was the reason that someone said, anyone want to suggest like the words that they used? Anyone? Yeah, give me. Because the whole angle is 360 minus that 35 is 320. Very good. So really you're thinking about like this whole thing gives you 360. So I'm trying to put these together. So the most succinct, brief way I can say that, because you want to offer a wording? Like, what I was going to do oh, yeah? plus 35 and take that over to the other side, which means it's uh, after the equals. No, no, on the top one. You mean here? Yeah. Yep. So you take the, yeah, yeah, you take away 35. Minus because yep. if you take it over, yep. then 360 minus 35. Very good. So we get exactly the right answer. Here's the way I'm going to word it, okay? Um, I'm going to say the angle sum and there are angles, and I'm adding them together, so that's why I use the word sum. The angle sum of a revolution, that was the word that you guys said to me before, which means go all the way around. The angle sum of a revolution is 360 degrees. Okay. Now, in fact, and this is why I've put it in another color, the wording is the most important thing about this. The reason that you provide it, it's much more important than the actual number, okay? Because reasoning is what's special about geometry. It's uh, we can prove things if we apply logic and reasoning. And you can see that this reason, the words, they match up to the equation. Do you see that? The angle sum is this left-hand side here. Y plus 35, that's the sum. And the revolution adding up to 360, here we go. A revolution is 360 degrees. There it is, right there. So if you've got some colors, I'd love you to um, show, or a highlighter or something like that, I'd like you to show that as well. How the equation that I wrote, it marries up, it's parallel to, can I see what I did there? Um, it's parallel to the reason that I provided, okay? So the wording, like I'm trying to say the same thing from two different angles. I promise I didn't mean to say that, but anyway. Okay. That was the um, that was number three, the first reason. Number four, someone want to provide to me um, the answer, and then we'll get to a reason. Adam. Um, it is one hundred and twenty-five degrees. Yep. And what was the reason that came with it? Um, yeah, thank you. Because they're both. Um, now we learned this yesterday, right? Angles. Very good. Okay, so here's the wording I'm going to put here, right? Corresponding angles. That's the important part because. Uh, this angle here and this angle here, they're facing in the same direction. Uh, but it's not just that they're corresponding angles. Like these lines here, you see these arrows, what do they indicate again? It's a term. Parallel. That they're parallel. If the lines were not parallel, if they were kind of like wonky, like that, then the angles wouldn't be the same, there wouldn't be anything alike. It's because they're parallel. So I want to include that in my reason. So I'm going to say corresponding angles on parallel lines. They're equal. That's why, bless you, this angle and this angle are the same. Okay? Now, we'll just point out a little thing, which is that uh, the letter D and the letter Y, I'm not going to put a degree sign on them. Okay? Can anyone suggest to me why I've left off the degree sign? Yeah, true. Because the letter Y and D isn't um, how much degrees the angle is, it's just, <coughs> just um, uh, um, you, it doesn't have to be Y or D, it could be anything. Okay, right. 
Very good. So why do they're like just a substitution, right? It's just a pronoun I'll put in place, right? It's just the number. And you can see that because when you look at these diagrams, the, the degree symbol's already there and there. So if I had said D is 125 degrees, then when I come back to my original question, I'll say, oh look, this angle is 125 degrees degrees? Because I've I've got it in twice, right? It's a bit like when people say ATM machine. Do you, does he, anyone know people who say ATM machine? Does anyone know what OTM stands for? ATM. It stands for um, automatic teller machine. A teller is like the person who hands money over to you or you give money to them at the bank. So an ATM machine is an automatic teller machine. Machine. Um, or a PIN number. Does anyone know what PIN stands for? PIN? Yeah, Cameron. It's a code. It's like a four digit code. It's like, I'll oh, put your PIN in, right? It's a, it's a PIN that personally identifies you. It's a personal identification number. So if I say PIN number, it's a personal identification number. Number? So you don't need to put an extra degree sign there. You've already got one. 